Hello everyone and welcome for this new video. In this video we're going to talk about an awesome idea that Leonardo da Vinci had for endless imagination. Let's talk about this. So this idea was written by Leonardo himself in uh, his uh, treatise on painting. You can find it online, it's copyright free now. Uh, so there are several versions, if you have the Italian edition or the simple translation of the original edition, it might be chapter 16 or chapter 163, the method of awakening the mind to a variety of inventions. Let's, let's read what Leonardo has to say. I'll not omit to introduce among these precepts a new kind of speculative invention, which, though apparently trifling and almost laughable is nevertheless of great utility in assisting the genius to find variety for a composition. By looking attentively at old and smeared walls or stones and veined marble of various colors, you may fancy that you see in them several compositions, landscapes, battles, figures in quick motion, strange countenances and dresses, with an infinity of other objects. By these confused lines, the inventive genius is excited to new exertions. So what does it mean? If you watch this board, this is a board that I use in my studio for uh, staining um, paper. It looks pretty random, but there is things that you can see that can trigger the imagination. And maybe there is more to it than just randomness and by applying your mind and thinking creatively, like Leonardo suggests, you can find something that could look like something usable. So now let's say that you take this, this part of the board and, and try to think about what the imagination can make of it. So right now it's pretty basic, but if you are looking for, I mean, I don't know, an idea for some type of random landscape, well, maybe this type of thing could be what's working for you. You just need to translate that into the colors of your painting and you basically have the shapes that you were looking for. So that's a, a pretty unique idea, but already you can see that it works. Let's find another example. On this piece of rock, maybe if you're anything like me, you can see the wing of a bird, but you probably see something else. It's basically like seeing shapes in the clouds, you know? Anyone can see whatever their imagination tells them. And that's, that's what's unique about it, that's the beauty. So you can see right here, and maybe here would be the beak. I don't know, all these shapes 
they might look pretty random, but if you apply your imagination, they might not be that random. Leonardo was talking about battles, and if we zoom in on this dirty palette, let's say, take only this part, right here, you can sort of see what he was talking about in terms of battles. Another pretty unique thing that you can do, if you have some leftover, like some paint that you want to throw away, some dust, charcoal dust or, or whatever really, you can take a piece of paper and just spread it randomly on this piece of paper and, and then, and just let randomness do its work. And maybe at the end you'll see something, some type of weird landscape, some type of weird shape that you can use for your next composition. So before you throw anything, make sure that you keep it. If you're looking for ideas, if you're looking for inspiration, this could be a great way to find inspiration. Alright, so this is just a an example to show you what can be achieved with this simple trick that Leonardo had. Like, sometimes from the randomness of the world around us, we can make sense of it and we can let the imagination give it some shape and give it some meaning. It's a very profound way of seeing the world and this explains also why so many of the, the paintings of Leonardo are 
mysterious and, and, and profound, and they also have very weird landscapes. Well, it's because his basic principle for building up landscape from his imagination was this approach, this very approach that sort of takes the randomness of the world and, and turns it into shapes that are recognizable but still very mysterious. There is a mystery in the visible world and Leonardo was all about finding this mystery and giving it some sense. So if you take this uh, inspiration from him and if you let your imagination give the randomness of the world uh, some, some meaning, maybe you'll find some very interesting things you can do. These are just examples that I've been showing you, but I mean, a lot can be achieved with this technique. It's also a very nice way of feeding your imagination with endless material and making its work that much uh, easier. So thank you for watching this video. If you like, I really suggest that you have a look at Leonardo's Treatise on Painting. It's a very interesting, very interesting book. It's, it's very old, so it doesn't really match with how we think about painting today. But there are some endless principles that you'll find in this book that will surely give you inspiration. All right, thank you for watching this video. As always, don't hesitate to like, subscribe, and um, I'll see you for the next video. And um, until then, have fun painting, have fun drawing. Bye.